Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Today I'm introducing part two video of my Creature Builder Excel workbook for No Man's Sky, which is a tool which will allow you to manage and change attributes for your pets in the game. This video will focus on some more features of the tool and will primarily show you how to catalog a new creature pet you found in No Man's Sky that you want to share with your friends or save into the library for later importing uh, into other saves. So first off, first off, let's get the three main programs running that we use throughout this video tutorial. That is, of course, the No Man's Sky game. Um, this Excel tool that I showed you how to download and install in part one overview video. And the Save Game Editor by Goat Fungus, which is needed to perform the import export of our pet information to and from the game. First thing we need to do is establish where your No Man's Sky in-game screenshots are stored on your computer. I use the Steam interface for most of my games, so for me, when I hit F12 key in-game, my screenshots go into a default folder that Steam manages. In the Creature Builder tool, when you bring up the Config Form window, there is a Settings button here under the File section that will point to the directory where in-game screenshots are located. If you know where this location is, you can directly use the change button and point to the directory. Chances are, however, you have no flippant idea where your screenshots go, so here's a quick way to find it and set it up in the tool. First off, in-game, just take a screenshot uh, of the scene and flip into Steam and make sure you're focused on the No Man's Sky game in your library. Uh, to look at the post-game summary, and you should see your screenshot posted there. Now select the image, right click on it, and select Manage Screenshots, and a sub window will appear showing all screenshots for the game. Click on your screenshot, then click the button below that says Show on Disk. This should bring up your screenshot directory for that game in Windows Explorer. Click on the folder address bar at the top, and with the whole folder address highlighted, hit Control C to copy the address to the Windows clipboard. Go back to the settings window of the tool and highlight the whole entry and hit Control V to paste the screenshot folder address into it. Click the change button to bring up the Explorer window um, to that location. Click OK to register the change. Then hit exit and make sure you save the Excel workbook to save all the new settings. Alrighty, now that we're ready to catalog a creature pet, let's go into No Man's Sky and find a creature we want to add to our pet library. This guy here looks pretty cool, so I'm going to feed him and then use the in-game controls to add him to our pet register as you would normally add a pet. Let's make sure uh, which pet slot we saved our creature into, identifying that the first position is slot 0 here followed by slot 1, 2, and then on the next row, slot 3, 4, 5, and then on the next page, 6, 7, 8, etc. Let's also take a screenshot of the creature that we will be uh, using for our library later. I'm just going to go into photo mode and then hit F12 for Steam to take a screenshot. We'll then call our ship and bring it down and um, we're going to jump in and out of it to create an autosave uh, in the game. Let's then switch to the save game editor and load up our save game. In my case, it's save game slot uh, one. If you are unsure which uh, game save slot you just updated, check the dates beside um, each one of the entries in the dropdown. We'll go into the uh, edit menu, edit raw JSON, and bring up the JSON editor window. We're going to expand the player state data section in the left pane window here. And then we're going to go down to the pets subsection and expand it. And here you'll see the numbered pet slots 0 to 17 that match your pet register in the game. In my case, my new pet is in the third position. So pet slot 2, since the first one is 0. I'll highlight the second slot in the left window and then move my mouse into the right pane and hit Control A to select all data there. 
You then hit Control C to copy this data to the Windows clipboard. Now we'll switch back to our tool and make sure you have the config form window open and click the import button. You will see the data populated on the form. It's important for us to give our new pet a name. If you've named it in game, it will actually import that name, but we can also do it here. And this name is important and it must be unique since uh, it will be part of the overall file name and storage strategy for our library images. Remember uh, from our part one overview that if you make any changes to the data on the form, you must click the update pet file button uh, down below here to ensure the new JSON text info window is updated on the left hand side of the form here. Okay, now that we are ready to uh, save our pet catalog info, there, this is a two-step process for the save procedure. We need to uh, save the JSON template text file and the screenshot image of the pet into our library. Fortunately, the program does some of the heavy lifting here. Make sure that the two checkboxes under the file section in the upper left section here are checked. Uh, click on the save button in the file section. The first step is to save the JSON text file of the creature, so a save as dialog box will open in the templates directory under the current creature ID that our pet belongs to. Um, the file name is already pre-configured that incorporates the current pet creature ID, its attributes, and the name of the pet uh, into the file naming convention. You don't need to make any changes, just hit save. The second part of the save process will automatically bring up the latest screenshot of your pet, which we need to store this image in the same directory as the template text file we just saved. Fortunately, the program is smart enough to have pre-configured the right location and naming convention for you. Just perform a save as command in your favorite JPEG viewer and in the name of the file you're about to save, highlight the whole text and hit Control V to paste the program's pre-configured image name. Click on the save, uh, save as to save the image and if all went well, you can click the show uh, pet button down here to show that this new pet has been registered in the library. So now, um, if I'm looking up possible options uh, for the spider um, category, I can actually just go down and take a look here at spider, and it will load up uh, various spiders on the in the pet image window here to the left, and I can start cycling through and taking a look at the different possible various combinations, and I should find our spider that we just added in here. Um, and it says found template so if we want to copy this into the form we can do that and we've got all the data from that um, file that we just saved so well that's it for now for this uh, particular section so thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for some additional videos on some more uh, in-depth discussion around modification and um, and some things you can do with the tool thanks for watching